This is Apple Valley Harvest. It wasn't made in 1986. It was made this year by a group of 9 to 12 year olds in Wolfville, Nova Scotia. Select your player. Eldrickin, Sterling, Henniger, or Bishop. The real surnames of some of the biggest apple producers and farmers around Wolfville. Then catch as many apples as you can in a minute and fill your bins. But watch out for worms. They'll make you lose your whole lot. Let's take a side quest to how this game came to be in the first place. Apple Valley Harvest is one game created by this year's Refresh Annapolis Valley's creative computing class, brainstorming and working on game design together. The group meets at Mike Kaplan's house. He's a software engineer who's channeling his passion into extracurricular programming for kids in grades four and up, initially set up with help from Acadia University. I'm a parent, I've got three children, uh, they've all showed a lot of interest in using computers, you know, playing video games, just consuming a lot of uh, digital content as all our children are doing these days. And as a parent, I really wanted to see if we can kind of flip the script a little bit, see if we can transform their interest in uh, playing into building. It's just the world opens up in a way that's, uh, that's quite exciting. You can't slow these kids down. In fact, when we showed up, they surprised us. Kaplan challenged his students to design a CBC theme game while we were there. Uh, some ideas that I thought of, um, CBC logo, Pong, like the, instantly Pong. I want to play Pong with the CBC logo, or maybe with Jane's head. We can play Jane Pong. We can. Or maybe the characters can be the heads with rackets, and with holding, with just rackets flowing between them, and you hit the CBC awesome. logo. We'll probably, I don't know, have around a half an hour to to play. All right, and Mark, get set, get building. And they're off, Go for focused it. and typing away. Refresh Annapolis Valley uses programs that teach coding by connecting blocks together. And each block is a step at instruction, literally the building blocks of learning code. Okay. Teo Muthing tries to teach me, but this is way over my head. And don't let Scarlett Carson's cat ears trick you. She's got a reputation. Why do you like making tough games for people to play? Well, they usually just end up tough because it's easier to make tougher games than easy games. Case in point. <laughs> tough game, eh, Teo? Wow, you're cleaning up. Haha, uh, you still, haha, uh, I'm still there, I'm still oh, there. Oh, yeah! <laughs> games are meant to be played. And what better way than on an old school arcade cabinet, loaded with games made by Refresh Annapolis Valley, like I Got Skate and Valley Driving, in which the player must dodge potholes on Highway 101. You're, this is gonna be a breeze. This is, you're gonna get the a special guest drops in to play Apple Valley Harvest. Remember those four character options? Andrew Bishop has been farming apples for over six decades. He knows apples, but has never played a video game but takes on his granddaughters. You're the girl. Oh, I was moving the other one. You're the Bishop. Well, you were trying to move me. So you've had a chance oh. to play the game now. What was that like? Well, it's exciting. Yep. <clears throat> You've got to be quick at it, that's for sure. <laughs> Is that like real apple picking, having to be pretty quick and watching out for worms and things? Well, we don't watch out for worms, but you have to be quick to get the apples. And what's it like being able to play against your granddaughters? Uh, they're much better than me, and they haven't picked near as many apples, so I'm not sure I understand that. <laughs>